Yeah, bring it all the way. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that was awesome. Welcome to an episode of Mr. Build Kids, where we let kids explore their creativity and build with their hands. On today's episode, I got my oldest son, Jack. Say hi, Jack. Hello. Jack, how old are you? 10. How come you act like you're 18 sometimes? I don't know. Also, nice pink hat for working today. Jack, have you ever built before? I know your brother Beckham builds a lot. Do you build? No. No? What do you mostly do? Nothing. Nothing. That nothing is video games all the time. <laughs> Speaking of video games, a project I got planned for today is a catapult. Do you know what a catapult is? Yeah. What is it? It's like you can load it and then it shoots something. Yeah, do they have that in like Fortnite or anything? Well, they know who John Cena is. They don't know what a catapult is. It's the most medieval weapon out there. They used to load it with big rocks and fling it at the other armies. You guys don't have that in Fortnite. Sounds like you need to get a better game. So the idea for a catapult is a good catapult has to have a good fulcrum. A fulcrum is just something that it could leverage against and use all that power. I'm thinking we're going to use like a classic triangle period. Now, we have to have a good balance on it because it has this big, basically, pull running through it and a bucket that launches anything. So what I'm thinking is we keep the front short and the back long. That way, when you're loading it, this thing doesn't start tipping over. Any excitement behind that? Any thoughts behind that? This is going to be a fun project. So the first thing we're going to do is start working on our frame. We got two sides of the triangle that we kind of drew up, right? Yeah. Now, if we were to create two identical pieces, how would we create that? Cut them one by one, or is there another option? Uh... Hmm. I don't know. Well, the easiest way to do it is if you stack them together, secure them together, and then just make one cut so you have two exact images of each other. All right. This is actually a very interesting question. Have you actually ever used a drill? Like once or twice. Oh, okay. Because I know Beckham always steals it. So what I'll have you do is put a screw on every corner so this thing doesn't move, okay? All right. Can't. Uh, the X goes into the other X. So go slow first. So go slow, and the trick with drills is top pressure on the drill. Okay, so go slow. There you go, and then push down. You can let go of this part. Put your other hand, put your other hand right here on top, and then push down. There you go, that's good. All right, let's go on to the next one. All right, we should be fine with three. All right. I, all right. <laughs> I'll let you do the honors of creating the shape of this, because if it fails, that's on you. Did you see my drip of sweat that just fell down? It's gross. <laughs> that's disgusting! All right, here's a pencil. Create a triangle that's not even. So what I'm thinking is, Keep it short here, maybe a little space for piping, and then bring it all the way down to the back over there. Use this as, a, as your little straight edge. Well, you're a good artist, maybe you got a good eye. So what I would do is use this to, uh, to create a straight line. Yeah. Nice, that's good. So we'll create a little space here to accommodate our uh, pipe here, and then maybe, that looks pretty good. All right, give that one a whirl. So like always, I will do the cutting to keep you having all your 10 fingers and 10 toes, you can do the rest. Let me get my circular saw. Well, since we don't have the right tools, I'm gonna have to get a little squirmy here. Don't try this at home. I'm gonna use my table saw, which you're not supposed to use it this way, just because I don't have my blade on it. Oh, you know what we can do? I can take this blade off. That's probably where I went. Don't you love when things start working out? <laughs> Hold that. Heavier than you thought, huh? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got sawdust on you? Now you're a real word worker. That's called man glitter. All right, why don't you work on taking the rest of the screws out because now we have our perfect cuts. All right. Little tip, put it in reverse so you can take the screw out, not keep it oh, going forward. Okay. Here, uh, put these on. Oh, sorry, that was right in your eye. Uh, which button is that again? So on the side, there's a trigger, so oh. this goes backwards. Same thing, palm on top, nice and slow. There you go. Remember that one time, maybe three times I said, don't do it fast? Uh. Like a really long time ago I said. All right, so we got two identical images of each other. Not bad, here, hold this piece right here. Can you envision the catapult, how it's gonna look? Yeah. So right, so there's a big stick going right here, big bucket. Mm -hmm. Now it has to swivel on something, right? Yes. I got a perfect solution for that. We got a metal rod that we're gonna put through it. And the way we're gonna secure it is these are called little phalanges. And they just screw up, well, not screw up, but they screw in into these little threads. Once I take this cover off, just like that. And then we'll use screws to secure it in place. Therefore, once we put our bar on here, our launcher of chaos, it'll be swiveling on it. Let's do the first side. 
Okay, grab the drill. I'll hold this in place so it's aligned. I'll hold this as you started. We got one. There you go. There we go. So let's grab this rod. Can you take that rubber piece off that other end? We'll do a test fit. Yeah, just keep twisting it off. Screw it into one of the phalanges and then we'll see how wide we'll need to cut. Noise. It's stuck. Yeah, it's just getting to the point that. There we go. And uh, are you wearing Crocs? Yeah. Building? Yeah. That's a safety violation right there. Let's try to screw this one in. Except for this one, we have to kind of spin it when we get it on. Ring around the rosy, pockets full of posy. We should try screwing in a light bulb this way. I'll hold the light bulb and I'll be on a chair and you just spin the chair. <laughs> All right, so let's keep it right there. Can you do squats with this? Nice. <laughs> We can make gym equipment. <laughs> That's actually a good weight for you too. But. All right, so now we need to, before we get ahead of ourselves, because once we start putting on our braces, there's no screwing this on. Let's start figuring out the length of the actual bar that's doing the launching. So this is gonna be the effect that we're working with. You're gonna stand behind here, bring it back, and launch it over. So what we're gonna have to do is take this thickness of this pipe, probably an inch wide, and drill a hole so this can feed all the way through and stay there. And my only concern is that this is going to do a lot of sliding back and forth there. So we, what we might have to do is put some pieces on the side to kind of stabilize it. But um, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. All right, so this is called the spade bit. And what they usually use this for is to drill in the walls to like put electrical wire through and all that stuff. This makes a lot of noise, throws a lot of sawdust, and you got to give a lot of pressure to use. And today, okay. you're going to get to do that. Yeah. Now you really got to put pressure on top. And this one you can go full, full, full clip. All right, I think we got it. Congratulations, you made a hole. Nice. Let's slide it on, see how it looks. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't smell it too much. Oops. All right, let's put this thing over that pipe. Uh, yeah, the short end goes there. All right, so this thing is definitely gonna be moving around when it sits in there. So what I think we need to do is create two small blocks, a hole underneath and on top to give it more area. It'll still probably move around. Maybe it'll be fine. What do you think? I think we should do it. They put the blocks. Put the blocks on there? Yes. All right. Let's try the blocks. You want to try using a saw? Yep. I mean, you're 10. You're basically almost driving soon. Can't believe that. Grab your uh, eyes and ears. All right, so this is the miter saw. Come squat down kind of how I am, all right? The big safety part is you want to have your hand on the side of the blade, never on that side. Always on this side, you're kind of holding the wood down against this fence and far, just like that, yep. The saw is going to get loud. There's a safety trigger on the side right here, right over there. Okay. And then you can press the main trigger. So without pushing the saw down, first try to turn it on. Safe. Safety. And then you press it. So wrap your finger like that. I'll help you with your safety. Okay, now press the trigger. Okay, slowly down. All the way, all the way up. Keep your hand till the blade stops. Now you can let go. Congratulations, you're the first, well actually almost 11 year old, make the saw blade here. Run. All right, let's make another cut. <clears throat> Come over. Beautiful. Don't let go. Nice, good safety. What are you doing? Were you licking that? <laughs> wow, golden nails. Fancy. Golden nails? Fancy. It's real gold. All right, so what we're gonna need to do here is to make sure these holes are aligned together. So that's where we're gonna feed the rod through first. And we're gonna drill screws, probably four screws, maybe two. Yeah, maybe two on each, and that should hold it in place. Okay, grab the drill. This, uh, these screws are a lot easier because you see there's a different pattern. It's like a, yeah. a star shape. Those are uh, so much better so you don't have as much problems with them. Keep going. There you go, perfect. All right, let's screw this thing back on permanently. All right, here, screw this tube in. I'm gonna hold it in place. There we go, yeah, you're in. Go as much as you can and then I'll help with the rest. All right, and the back piece, this is the one that we're gonna have to Spin it around like a merry-go-round. 
Whoa. Whoa, you all right? Yeah. Good thing you're wearing Crocs. Uh-oh. Dude, I got dizzy spinning there. That should be perfect. All right, set it up. Perfect. So, we have our, dude, could you imagine? <laughs> Hopefully nobody stands on this side. So, what we gotta do next? Right now, this thing is not stable, as you can see. It wobbles all over the place. So we're gonna make bracing. Do you know what bracing is? Nope. Bracing is just essentially just two by fours that we're gonna put on the bottoms, maybe at the sides here, to make sure that it kind of sucks everything together. Kind of like this, the skate ramp that Beckham and I built, we put braces on the inside. Oh. Measure our distance here, 36 and a half inches. Okay, you're old enough. Here's a tape measure. Get you two by four. You're gonna find 36 and a half inches. Now, I know in school you guys use rulers and stuff, but have you ever used a tape measure? I have. You have? All right, let's see if you can do without me helping. Find 36 and a half inches. It's there. All right, so make a mark at the 36 and a half. Nice. Here. The pencil is, so, is covered in sweat. Yeah, that's my sweat. Costs a lot of money. People will pay money for my sweat. <laughs> that's nasty. I know, I'm kidding. Let's see you cut. All the way up, keep holding this. Saw blade's done, perfect. One thing you always wanna remember is when you start the blade, you wanna let it get to full RPMs, full speed, and then come down. Okay. And you did a great job for the first time using a saw. You weren't trying to force it down, you're just letting the blade cut, so it's almost like falling down itself, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if the 36 and a half is perfect. Okay, so we'll need one. Yes, please. I'll just gotta go get some water anyways. We need one here. Thank you. Nice. Nice work. The weight's on this side. It's gonna have to be really heavy or else it's not gonna. I mean, it'll probably make it go up, but not right. too so much. Right, what we're gonna do is it. we're gonna put bungee. Oh. This is gonna be tight right here. So when it's preloaded, so it's always gonna stay like this. Oh, and then are you guys gonna it make back, it? Oh. And then launch it. And hopefully I thought... it doesn't hit your feet. Don't film my feet. Film my feet. Are you insecure about your feet? <laughs> yeah. Why did you drop it? All right, let's put on our braces. We're gonna have them like this. I'll stand it up and you can drill from the top. Let me line these up one second. You ready? Yep. Good. Good, good. First of all, I already like how stable this thing looks and we're gonna have a lot of clearance for this thing to launch up. So now is probably one of the most important parts is to make sure we have strong elastic band strength for this sucker to launch anything far. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna steal one of mom's workout gym of equipment. I think she does this with it all the time and this all the time. <laughs> so what I think we gotta do is we'll drill a hole through this because the whole point is it has to stay upright because it'll always have tension. We'll drill a hole, feed this through, and then secure it with a two by four, clamping it down so it doesn't come whacking anybody in the face. Unless you want to get whacked in the face, it's up to you. Mm, I'm good, <laughs> I'm good. But we kind of want it to probably run somewhere right there. So, okay, do your best to drill that hole right there. I'll hold this wood in place. Don't cut my knee, ready? Uh -oh. You were this far away from my kneecap. I made sure to watch you, so you're doing great. How nervous were you? <laughs> Are your glasses upside down? <laughs> so feed this through that. We'll double this up. So each one of this is 40 pounds. So if we double it up, that's 80 pounds of elasticity. So feed that through that hoop there, and I'll get us a couple of blocks to secure. Like this? Yep. Like that? <laughs> Where are we gonna put it? Are we gonna make it like that? Uh, well, hold on a second. Do that again. I didn't think about that one. Stretch that far back. So, oh, the only problem is it's keeping it down. So we need a downward pressure. So we could secure to this two by four here, but the problem is, is you don't have enough load. Well, actually, you might be right. Please, please don't let go of that. I won't. All right, so, I mean, technically we could. This is kind of quite a bit. But the thing is, if we go lower, you'll have more pullback, which means more launch. We can try both ways and see which one goes fast or further. So what we can do is, Secure to this two by four. Like that? Yeah, and then we'll 
We'll, we'll see how that one works first. I'll be honest with you, Jack. I don't like this whole securing method with the two by four blocks because I'm afraid that it's gonna squeeze out of here and fly out. Besides, we really gotta create tension on it to secure it. So, you're incredibly brilliant dad that is the smartest person you know. Why are you smirking? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're decently smart guy, dad. Came up with this, a solution. We're gonna use these called D-links because they look like D's sideways or a U upside down. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, connect them to this plywood here from the back. That way we can just feed this through here and then clip it on on the other side. The nice thing about it is one day when this wears and tears and breaks because it's rubbing against the wood there, we could easily replace it without having to disassemble this. So I'll mark out my holes, you do the drilling and then we'll secure it. Okay. Perfect. And the nice thing about this method is that we're not gonna put pressure on this two by four because that can only take so much. But this is gonna be our strongest point of contact. Make sure nobody gets whacked in the face, like I said. Boing, boing. All right, Jack, connect this in place. Stretch it nice and far. Nice. Oh, dude, we're gonna have some crazy good pressure here. Okay, last thing we're gonna do is our bucket situation. So I got a steel bucket because plastic, I think, will break apart. Well. We won't need this handle, so let's see if we can rip it off. We need to attach it to put any kind of balls that we're gonna be using, but as you can see, there's no surface area to connect it, so I got an idea. We're gonna take this scrap piece of plywood that we made up, a, a whatever kind of style circle that is. We're gonna secure it in here, and then we're also gonna secure that to the bucket, so we're gonna have extra connection and not worry about this thing falling off. Attach this one onto this one. <laughs> yeah, if only. So I think this one will work here. Good, perfect. Let's disconnect this power. Wow. Lay it on the ground. And uh, you're gonna screw this in like that. Good. Good, they're all in there. Nice job. Give me some. Let's connect this. <laughs> this thing's gonna be freaking awesome. All right. Should we go launch something? Yeah. All right, let's take this thing outside. All right, let's try this thing out. Jack, uh, why don't you tell them the modifications that we just did. Instead of one band that we used to make it go back, we did two bands instead. Yeah, and one's uh, 50 pounds and the other one's uh, 40 pounds, and they're all doubled up. So we're we're well over 100 pounds, almost maybe 200 pounds. And then we put a stopping block here because we realized that if you don't have that stopping block, it just throws it right into the ground and it's kind of an eventful. Very first try uh, with the modifications, extra bands. We got a ball in there. Let's see how it does. All the way down. Watch your chin, watch your chin. Yeah, bring it all the way down. Oh, shoot, <laughs> that was awesome. All right, I want to give it a try. I don't think you were able to get it all the way down. I think we get more flight out of this. Three, two, one. <laughs> How far is that, like? Uh, that looks like it's a solid like 40 feet. I've learned one thing to make an adjustment here if we ever do, is we gotta make the base more heavier. So some people put weights on the bottom of it and that keeps it, cause it's, I think it's losing a lot of energy when it bounces, but man, 40 feet is not bad. We almost broke this thing. It bent our half inch pipe and the screws are almost coming out here. That's how much load this thing is under. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. We had a lot of fun. Did you have fun building this? Yep. It was a lot of fun building. We built a cool war machine, essentially. But in the meantime, make sure you hit like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Maybe you can build it with your family. And in the meantime, check out this video that you might enjoy. See ya.